Winter is here and it's time to do some maintenance on the Venus fly traps. A lot of the older traps and old larger leaves like this one here are going to die back and make way for the shorter traps on shorter leaves. The plants tend to look a little harsh right before winter sets in as the old leaves start to rapidly die off, but this is completely normal. The fly trap is not unhealthy, it's just getting ready for winter dormancy. You'll need scissors for some leaves, but not all of them. This one right here, we want to just cut off the dead part so the plant that's still getting any nutrients from the rest of the leaf that is alive, we want to leave the rest of the leaf so that the plant can suck the rest of those nutrients out. The same goes for this next leaf. We're just going to cut right where the yellow meets the black. Go ahead and just make that cut. On some leaves, such as this next one, where the whole trap and the whole leaf is died down into the plant, a lot of the time you can grab them as close as you can to the base and wiggle back and forth, and you can actually wiggle the leaf free from the rhizome of the plant. You can see a portion of the dead leaf came from below the soil line. This is my preferred method to get rid of a lot of these leaves that are completely dead so that it gets rid of the most dead material as possible from the plant. But not all the leaves like to pull out easily even though they're dead and sometimes you do have to pull the leaf back and get in with your scissors as low as you can and make a cut. This ensures that you don't pull on the plant too hard and accidentally rip the whole plant out of its pot. It's important to clean up the plant to the best of your ability so that during the winter in the very high humidity months, these leaves that are dead don't mold and the mold doesn't get down into the center of the plant. Here you can see the before of what the plant looked like before we cleaned it, and this is the after once we got done cleaning up all that dead foliage. 